I thought this could be an interesting idea for a tier list. I am doing the Patrick Mahomes playoff games tier list. I'm going to rank every single playoff game he has played so far into his career uh, in one of five categories. The categories are not human, dominant, still good, not his best, and then one to forget. So let's just uh, get into the list. Uh, I think you can figure out how it works as we go. Uh, we're going to just go chronologically. So first, we're going to go with the uh, very first playoff game he had against the Andrew Luck Colts. This was a cold weather game. I remember him kind of getting off to a bit of a slow start in this one as what tends to happen with players in their first playoff game. But uh, really, the Chiefs were able to eventually get going and kind of felt like the snowball just never stopped rolling. I don't think this was his uh, best game, so I guess I could still put I could put it in not his best. I think I'll put it in not his best. Uh, maybe you could talk me into still good, uh, but again, for Mahomes, sometimes those are uh, the still good and not his best might almost be a little bit similar. But for me, still good is like still a good performance for his standards. So I would say this not his best feels fair here. We then have against the Patriots who, this was a loss, which is interesting, and of course, uh, Brady and the Patriots, Brady played very well in this game, the Patriots went on to win the Super Bowl, uh, you know, famously, the Chiefs did not win the coin toss, and that was a big reason why they lost the game, but him, him in the second half was just unbelievable, and maybe this is a hot take, I'm going to put him in not human, in large part due to the what he was able to do in the second half. And in that final drive, it, it felt over. Once the Patriots took the lead, I was convinced that's it. And that would not be the craziest comeback he had, but it was certainly uh, one of them. We then have the Texans 24 nothing comeback, which, of course, Texans went up 24 uh, nothing in the second quarter. Later on in the second quarter, they trailed. Um, so that was not, not a great quarter for the Texans. I believe it, they were up 24 nothing in the second quarter. Uh, I know it was the first half comeback. Uh, yeah, this was, again, not human. I mean, what he was doing there, the reason they got behind wasn't really his fault. And some of the plays he was making later on, he just felt like, okay, this guy is some, this guy is different. I'm going to put that in the not human category. Then we have the the Titans playoff game. He had a not human play in that game, the uh, long run at the end of the half. So I could put him there. I think I'm going to say that there, it wasn't quite as dominant in that one. I'm going to put him in dominant because of that one play and because he was still good throughout the rest of that game. But to me, this feels fair. We didn't have the playoff, the Super Bowl, excuse me, they're all playoff games. The Super Bowl, first time against the 49ers. Of course, the 49ers led 20 to 10 with like seven minutes left in this game. Uh, then Mahomes was able to, you know, really get some plays going to third and 15 to Tyree Kill. Uh, really good stuff from that point forward. For me, um, you definitely can't put it as one of his uh, top tier games. He This was a, a not his best game. I mean, he threw multiple interceptions. He threw out three and a half quarters. He was, quite frankly, having one of his worst games of the season. But you can't ignore the dominance he put there at the end. So I think I'm going to put this not his best as well. But he made some incredible plays and won Super Bowl MVP. But to me, that just kind of goes to show how dominant Mahomes is. That I think it's fair to say uh, a game that wasn't his best is still like... He won Super Bowl MVP because he's Mahomes. But yeah, I didn't think he was great in that game. I really didn't. Um, then we have, this is an interesting one. Uh, so this is the Henny thing is possible game. The Chad Henny comes in, makes that fourth down conversion. So, um, you know, Mahomes played for a bit, but Henny was the one who won it. So I'm not going to put it completely in one to forget, but I think not a, not his best as well because he didn't play the whole game and wasn't as dominant in this one as well. So there you go. Then we have the... Um, conference championship against the Buffalo Bills. This was kind of, you know, the first time we would see these guys play, the, you know, first of three. In this one, it really was kind of all Kansas City. I'm going to put in dominant. It wasn't like the like, top of the list game, but it was it was really good. Um, and then the Super Bowl against the Buccaneers, which to me, I, I keep saying to me, but uh, to me, I did not think this was his best game. A lot of people kind of bring up the valid other things that went wrong in this game. So, for example, the you know the offensive line being very banged up. The uh, you know Andy Reid not helping out the offensive line who was very banged up, not having guys out the chip. Them kind of still trying to hit the home run ball, even though Tampa Bay was clearly taking that away. There was some weird stuff going on. 
I thought there were opportunities for Mahomes that he didn't take in this game. If he took every opportunity and played a perfect game, they weren't winning. But I thought that he there, it still wasn't his wasn't a fantastic game. Of course, you have to mention some of those plays that you know. Again, I think God, that's kind of all people remember. Uh, you can't forget about the other stuff that happened in the game. But what people remember is him making these unbelievable throws while getting knocked down, and really kind of you know, is a uh, you know. It was a sign of, t- of things to come for Mahomes, but for me, I'm, I'm I, I can't put this too high on the list. I think not his best is still a fair thing, even though of course the point disparity was not uh, because of Mahomes. Uh, you know, both things can be true. Then we have the you know uh, Steelers Chiefs game. This is one where. If you remember, the Chiefs actually got off to a slow start in this game. It, it, it was, you know, TJ Watt had a, a fumble touchdown, and it was like, oh, my God, is there a chance the Steelers can actually pull this out? And then the Chiefs scored, like, six straight touchdown drives, and that was it. So uh, I'll, I'll put it in still good, uh, which is crazy that a game where they put up 42, where I'm like, yeah, that was pretty good by Mahomes. It, it just, it's just kind of crazy that. And then the 13-second game, this was not human. I mean, it, it just was. That 13 seconds drive and it wasn't just the 13 seconds like that entire like final couple minutes was unbelievable everyone remembers the 13 seconds but that was one of the most ridiculous final few minutes of a game you've ever seen also Mahomes had to drive down the field in overtime you know the reason why we talk about oh they won the coin toss and that's what changed the rules because Mahomes had to do it uh, similar to Brady before him so yeah that was just like okay we knew this guy was great but like the great quarterbacks before him weren't doing that. So, yeah, not human. Then we have the following game, which was probably his worst game uh, that he's had in the playoffs. I'm putting it in one to forget. They, you know, had a good first half. And Mahomes actually had a couple of, like, unhuman plays in the first half. But the second half came rolling around. And he just, it, it, the Bengals defense, you got to give him credit, covered well. But there were moments. Mahomes had a, a brutal play towards the end when they needed a field goal to tie and send it to overtime. And Mahomes fumbled the ball after holding on to the ball for like 10 seconds in the pocket. That's not an exaggeration. It was literally over 10 seconds in the pocket because uh, it was a three-man rush. And then he fumbled the ball. Luckily, the Chiefs recovered. Uh, and then he threw an interception in overtime. I mean, that was just... You look at his playoff resume, that one stands out for sure. Um, So then the next year rolls around. And again, a game where he gets banged up against the Jaguars, but actually made some really nice plays uh, against the Jaguars. I I think still good feels fair for me with that one. It wasn't as good as we've seen, but especially given the injury, some of the plays he was able to make. Chad Henney did have a touchdown drive. Shout out Chad Henney again. But yeah, that feels fair for me. And then you had the Bengals game uh, in the conference championship following year, another close game. This time, though, Mahomes didn't make the mistakes that he made. It's still a tough defense, still a tough matchup, but was able to not kind of make the mistakes. So I'm going to put this in uh, still good for me as well. That that feels fair. Then the Eagles uh, Chiefs Super Bowl, which was an awesome Super Bowl, came down to the wire. To me, this was another one of the not human situations. I, I didn't think, I mean, he looked unbeatable at times. And give granted, maybe what we know now is that Eagles defense wasn't quite as good as we thought it was, but still, at the, it had a really good year and he made it look brutal. And obviously a lot of other players had a part in it. I mean, Kadaris Tony had a big game, but no, he was uh, unbelievable. And so for someone who hadn't quite yet had the amazing Super Bowl, well, now he has the amazing Super Bowl. And so now, just this last season, first the Dolphins-Chiefs game in the cold, I don't know, still good, feels fair for me. I mean, the the way the Dolphins' offense was running, he didn't have to do a lot, but, like, did what he was supposed to do. I don't think you can put it in, like, one of the top two tiers, but, like, yeah, it it was solid. Uh, And then you have the the Bills-Chiefs game from last year, which I think is another not human. Poor Bills, who get uh, Mahomes' Two non-human games and a dominant game. Uh, poor, you know, Bills are thinking, "What did we do? What did we do to you, Mahomes?" Please, I guess they could have drafted him, they traded away to pick, but they got they wanted to get Josh Allen. It wasn't a bad trade. I don't know. Um, the you know, I, I thought that in this game, Mahomes was unbelievable. I thought both quarterbacks really were unbelievable. But it there was a point when it was like a fourth down and five, 
And Chris Collins was like, do you just go for it here because you don't want to give Mahomes the ball back? And then they did. They faked the punt. Like, that's kind of how that game went. Despite the low score, there weren't many possessions in that game at all. So that's why it was actually a really high-scoring game just without a lot of scoring, if that makes sense. Um, He was amazing in that one. And then the uh, you know Chiefs Ravens game, which I, I'll put in. I, I think you know, maybe maybe this is a hot take. I think I'm actually gonna put it all the way up and still good. And that might seem like a surprise because after those op- two opening drive touchdowns, they only had one field goal the rest of the way. And I think the reason why I'm still gonna be higher on it than other people would would be one. They got those two opening drive touchdowns. Those matter. Those were, and that was Mahomes making stuff happen too. That wasn't just like guys were getting open and then they weren't. Um, the Ravens defense is really good. Mahomes didn't have a lot that he could do. And so he did the smart thing. He played it safe. He didn't take chances and he never made the big mistake and was still able to move the ball even if they weren't able to get uh, touchdowns. And compared that to the Ravens constantly making mistakes, uh, that was the difference in that game. Mahomes wasn't as good amazing as we've seen him be in other games but he didn't have the opportunity to be amazing and so instead maximized his team's potential to win and I thought that was really well done it's something we've seen Brady do over the years of like I think about that Tampa Bay Saints game uh for the you know uh in the playoffs Brady versus Breeze it was like Brady kind of realized oh this is a defensive game I gotta pump the brakes Breeze didn't do that Breeze was throwing the ball down the field still Breeze turned the ball over Brady didn't that was kind of the difference. So to me, that's kind of, I would compare uh, that with the Chiefs Ravens game. So yeah, finally, the most recent Super Bowl is another not human. Another one where he got off to a slow start. And you could argue maybe this is too high and it should be in the dominant tier because of the slow start. But like, I mean, once that muffed punt happened, like, did he miss a throw? And even in the first ch- chunk, with the exception of the interception, he was pretty great from there as well. So. I don't know. I think not human feels fair. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy how many there are on the you know top uh, of this list. I mean, I have five not human games. Compare that to uh, only five that are either not his best or worst. Only one, I'm looking at it and saying, like, well, that wasn't a great game. Like, Mahomes could have played better, and they lost in overtime. You know, the other ones that aren't his best... I mean, one of these is a Super Bowl victory. Another is a game where he just got injured in. So, like, it's in, you know, uh, I mean, what, in the not his best games, they still won three out of the four of them. Uh, The only one they lost was a Super Bowl that even if he was at his best, they weren't winning anyways. So, yeah, uh, pretty crazy run, but kind of a fun tier list. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you're interested in. I'll maybe make more of these in the future. But, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.